to year 2001. In other words, the first collapse came in 1994. That time too. Everybody was afraid. 2001 was when I joined the investment circle. Then I became a full-time pastor. But that time, if I had 5,000 lira in my hand, I removed my tithe. I removed something for investment. As little as that. And God was blessing it. And for eight good years, I didn't touch it. I was rather trading and increasing and increasing. Yet, I had needs. Members of my church are here. My car was smoking. I didn't change the car. Even though I could afford to buy three brand new cars anytime tea. I didn't. Because I have my investment objective. More so, I'm a full-time pastor. I'm giving you this, you're going to find them in those books there. So, for the first eight years, therefore, and I was carrying along my wife. Then a time came when we were thinking stock markets, stock will reach 150 naira per, per shares. We are thinking to be a million. That time, dollar was 150 to a naira. So, we are thought that's where shares were going. Things were booming. I refused to sell. I would rather increasing and increasing. Your 27 companies I was involved in. Then one day, my wife said, my dear, because I carry her along, you see, all the books I have read, and I invested in knowledge. I shared with her. He said, my dear, I feel we should pull out of those shares, those companies. I said, what are you talking about? The, this is just 50, it's just 60 naira. It's still going to 150. I said, my dear, let's pull out. Her. I'm an investor. Say, I know, sir. Well, my wife will not allow me to rest. One day she she not go to work. I said, "What happened?" He said, "Today we are going to stock market to go and pull out." Okay, I've learned to be able to to respect her hunch. She knows, but she doesn't have the reason. I follow her. We pull out from twenty five companies. Okay, in our investment, from there we bought one house and we built another house all within five months. Full time pastor. Then. Three months, four months down the line, the bubble busted. There was heavy crash. Meanwhile, I taught my church for six years. One hour every Sunday. One hour, seven to eight, on how to invest, on how to make it. How to, and plenty of people, they multiplied the subsidy, through which we were able to build the church where we are in Sabo, by God's grace. But the thing now busted, where nobody, because I've, told, I've given them signs to look out for. I'm not a store broker. Okay? But this I think to look out for. And I put it in a book. The book is still there. Dig it before you are thirsty. You should start investing when people are afraid. Like people are afraid now. But when the stock market collapsed, which is the capital market, money market always pick up. So, we began to another money market. We have achieved our first goal of having our accommodation. Two houses together. Then, we began again investing. Investing, investing. Now in the money market, Treasury bills, um, dollar, website account, I mean, really, in savings in dollars. And that's why I tell people, when they give you dollar, please don't change it. It's financial illiteracy. To be changing a strong currency for a weaker one. The money you are getting now, those money or money uh, from, uh, they are sent to you now, don't change it. Keep it. It's a store of value. Praise the Lord. Like that for eight years. I mean, treasury bills, this one. Eight years ago came, opportunity came for us to now go to another property. Don't forget, I'm a full-time pastor. I just went to all our investment, pull it out, okay? Then, dollar has become 361 naira. I got it when it was 120 naira. Amen? So the profit here and there was able to give us another property. Are you following me? A flat and a property, and, and, and a bungalow. I mean, eight about thirteen rooms all together. From what just understanding investment circle. Praise the Lord. We finish it, and now the thing again bubbled. The thing went down again. Now, Abby, those things. So we must be conscious. We are now beginning under eight years. So by the time I am knocking at seventy, the eight years we have matured again by the grace of God, and again. I will be telling you again how I am prospering, even at 70. Are you following me? 
still carrying Bible and doing ministry that God has given to me without touching church money. Amen. I say, praise the Lord. So read all these stories. You don't find them in books because people don't want to tell you their story, their, their secret. But this is a, this is my commission, okay, and to help us to get to, to get to where we are going. So as I've said, have a discipline of not touching until your goal has been achieved. You're going to find so many stories. When I say any money is spent for building wealth, praise the Lord. So by the time you see dig your before you are thirsty. 21 spiritual tools for business success. That money is not all, money is spiritual. Business is spiritual. I learned it from 26 years of practical business work. 21 spiritual tools. There I show you the principles and the tools that helped us to succeed. 50 business leadership strategies of egos. I've not seen a book like this. 50. I heard of three from a speaker. And that's what makes to go and look for more. Somebody took and showed me three principles of ego business. I went to go and look for the remaining 47 principles. 50 money rules for wealth building. Hmm. If Michael Tyson have read this book, he would not have filed for bankruptcy. Because at 30, Mike Tyson was worth $350 million. At 33, he filed for bankruptcy. Three years after, he blew up everything. If you have read this book, please, if you know his address, send this book to him so that he can still survive where he is. Before you quit your job, I wrote my first book, How to Fire Your Boss, when I was 29, 30. But 21 years later, when I was looking at 50, I knew better. I now wrote before you quit your job. Things I did not know that time. Though I fired my boss quite all right. But if you now combine these two, you will be better informed for yourself. And let your children read these things in their secondary school. You are helping them. Don't wait until they start looking for a job like you. Multiple sources of income in the ministry. What you need, that you need more than one small. I told you there are 40. As a full-time pastor, God showed me nine streams of income. Nine. I would say nine. Nine. I'm operating eight. After the seminar, I go to number nine. I was continue number nine. He showed me. When you read my book, Rich Pastor, Poor Pastor, you see there. Clearly, people don't give their secrets, but I'm giving you free. Amen. Fifty money rules for wealth creation, different from wealth building. How do you create the wealth? Fifty of them. 100 business ideas that make people to become rich. I know what I kept these prices on. Prices have been online for the past four years unchanged, despite the inflation rate. I can't guarantee you when you when it's because this particular one, how to retire wealthy and healthy and happy, 368 pages that just arrived this week. My printer said it should go for seven thousand. He said because I'm coming to save, I should make it five thousand. I said, okay, on my own, let it be 3,000. Amen? I thought I go to clap for that. Ha. <laughs> when you come back to us in Lagos, it's 5,000. But here, because it was CFM that God used to motivate me to start writing two months ago. So 3,000 for all of you. Business prayer manual. Over 800 prayer points that I pray as a business person. The ministry prayer manual. This book does not stay, does not stay at all. 700 prophetic prayer points for critical areas of ministry success. Some of the writings there are not in any of my textbooks in this book, Ministry Prayer. Then career success secrets. How to succeed in your career. I think I'm, I can write on this because by God's grace, my career took me up to board level. I became a group personnel manager over a group of companies. Okay, by God's grace, I'm a member of Chapter Two of Personal Management, and I've just been licensed in Nigeria to be a human resource practitioner. I got my license this year. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I can tell you a little about career success secrets. You have them there. How to fire your boss and hire yourself. Rich pastor, poor pastor. 
successful church financial management and also to how to increase giving in your church. The prices are left like that for this conference. This is conference special bonanza. Amen. You can those aspects. Amen. Then I'll stop here because uh, I do know your future is very bright. I see your future is very bright. At the end of the book, I put there about 17 prayer points. 17 prayer points. And from all the things we have been hearing about health, about, um, about health, about uh, family, these prayer points will really help us. Can you just pray one of them? Say, in the name of Jesus, I delete my name from generation of parents who labor and die at the beginning of their harvests. Pray in the name of Jesus that I give my name from those who labor and die at the beginning of their harvests. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say with me, my last name will be great grandparents that live very wealthy, very happy, and very healthy. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I pause here for questions or feedback. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't take questions. Yes, sir. Questions, please. The grid is free cancelling. Can I have about three, four questions? Please come forward. And if you have written any of them. Questions, please. Please give us a microphone. Ask for it now. Though in the book, you are going to find all our contacts, phone numbers, emails, even my, my, my daily blog and our website. You're going to find all of them. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Sir, we freely enjoyed your teaching so far. The little question I want to ask, or maybe I should say what I think I needed, and just like every other people will be needing at this point, is that all these your books, majority, if not all, are very, very good. And for us to assess all this will definitely take uh, we definitely need a lot of cash. So my suggestion is that for we for Squareans, I want to know or I want to plead that you organize a, a, pro, a, a you organize a, a, a program or a scheme whereby you will uh, just reduce the prices for us as for Squareans. Thank you, sir. It's taking, taking. You know that, uh, <coughs> as I've said, some of those books have been like that for the past eight years. Some four years. I'm not doing that as a writer. This point when you agree with me, I had to put down about a million naira for my printer before I can see the first copy. For my own pocket before you can even see it. And yet, I refuse to follow the man's advice. Who said I should increase the price? I said, no, it's ministry. So we are doing our best. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.